adapt, make something suitable for a new use or purpose, modify. What adapt means to me in the sense of adjusting to college would mean to make the area around you suitable for you and to make yourself comfortable in the new environment that you are coming into. I feel it's very normal to experience some kind of culture shock when it comes to a new environment, being away from home and having to pick up new responsibilities, adjust, alter or move something slightly in order to achieve the desired fit, appearance or result. So adjust kind of goes hand in hand with adapt. As for my adjustment to college, I think what I had to adjust to most was not only my schedule, but figuring out how to balance everything else that I already do with my college workload. Fall semester was easier than I thought it would be, but I definitely still had to adjust and kind of get accustomed to not only campus, but the workload and the different dynamic between high school and college. And so briefly, those are the ways that I adapted and adjusted to my first year in college. Even though it isn't over, I do definitely see a drastic change in my attitude and my comfortability levels. Alexa, play music by Mariah the Scientist. Shuffling songs by Mariah the Scientist on Amazon Music. Stuck in my way And I ain't never met a soul like you Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a video I've never done before. I've never done a reset video, but instead of like the typical nail appointment, vision board, like kind of video, and there's nothing wrong with that because I definitely had plans to do a video like that too. I wanted mine to be more like school oriented and like more of like getting ready for or like adjusting, preparing for spring semester. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We're already one week into spring semester, but it still hasn't really started. If you're in college, you know the first week of classes is really syllabus based and just like prep before the classes actually start. I feel like this week we're gonna get more into it. It's still very much the beginning of the course, but we're still gonna actually get into doing actual work now. Y'all will just see me throughout the rest of the week. We will see where this video takes us. Originally, this video was supposed to be a reset video, like a adjusting for spring semester kind of video, which is why I started with cleaning. But I also thought that this video would be better as a visual diary give you guys a mix of things and then also just share with you guys how i adjusted and adapted to school and so at the end of this video i will also insert a segment of how i feel about my college experience that's what this video will be instead so i hope you guys love it the same as the new year kicks off i know we've all written some goals for ourselves one of mine was to eat better and green chef makes that simple by introducing you to new ingredients and flavorful dishes that support a healthy lifestyle and balanced diet, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. If you haven't heard of Green Chef, Green Chef is a certified organic company and has options fit for every lifestyle, such as keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. Here's my Green Chef box. I was so excited when it was delivered. Unlike a trip to the grocery store and having to prepare everything at home after you've already shopped, Green Chef does all that for you all the prep is already done and so all you have to do is open up your box and get to cooking this week i decided to go with the beef cavatappi skillet which was so amazing i absolutely love one pot meals and i've never had a cavatappi skillet so i was super excited to try this one by green chef and y'all it was literally so so good my mom loves being in the kitchen and trying new recipes so green chef was a perfect experience to share with her because of all the amazing recipes that they offer green chef's always changing variety of 
of easy to follow recipes means that there's something new to discover each week so you never get tired or bored with any of the recipes. Because of the convenience, the great taste, and the ability to try new recipes and ingredients, I recommend you all to check out Green Chef. Don't forget to use my code NylaNicole60 to get 60% off plus free shipping and go to greenchef.com for more details. Shout out to Green Chef for being the sponsor of today's video and let's go ahead and jump back into today's vlog. today to Optimus Hall with my friend so I just bought some little like pickups from Shein nothing crazy but I'm probably gonna wear something like that because I do want to do Instagram pictures today so that's first on the checklist and then also I wanted to fix my hair a little bit like pluck it some more put some concealer in my part and then curl it probably I want to do my makeup of course I'm gonna take pictures and I beat this face and my lashes are full, so I gotta take advantage of that too. First thing though, I'm gonna pick up my outfit because I have no clue what I'm gonna wear, but I want it to be really, really cute. So yeah, I don't have all my shoes here, so that's kind of like a bummer because I did try some of the stuff on at home with like some of the stuff I already had, but I don't wanna wear everything anyway because I ordered some stuff on Pretty Little Thing for some of the clothes that I got from Shein anyway for like outfits. So I'm not really tripping about that and that comes next week. So it's cool. I'm gonna let y'all see how I get ready for the outings, you know, and bring my camera, get some footage for y'all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to use this camera for pictures today, but of course I always have my phone just in case. Let me go ahead and pick up my outfit and I'll show y'all what I come up with. Okay, y'all, this is the first option. Right, this little sweater, this silver bag, and then I have these little cargo, these silver shades. I think this is cute. And I wanna do the little picture in picture like it. I think this is cute. Okay, I'm gonna try on the other one. I'm gonna try something else on that I put together. Amazon shades, Shein top, cargo. So do I wanna wear a tank top in the car? Alright, so this is what I got. This is outfit one. This is outfit two. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we'll just see. I really make a decision when I, when I finish doing my makeup, but um, yeah. With this, obviously I need a jacket of some sort, but this is like all good. It's going to be like 40 something, so so I think I'm going to mix these today. This is the Killian Love Don't Be Shy, and then this is YSL Libre, so might do something there. Then I just have some body lotion. These are all my little palettes, so I think I'm going to do like a brown lid with some of the things in here. But I really just want to use this brush down here, so I have that. Another Anastasia palette, cream contour. I might just end up doing powder today. This Maddie Ziegler palette by Morphe, another light lid color. That's really all I see in here. This palette, I use these for face powder, and then I use this other Morphe palette for um like bronzer these two shades but they could also be lid shades and then like these pinks and oranges can all be blush i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes but i never do colorful like looks so it's just really a waste of money and they're all at home but these are the ones that i did bring and then here's all my like everyday makeup these are lips lashes that kind of thing i got some duck clips back here and then foundation concealer lipstick this is what i use for liquid blush Primer, more primer, bronzer, blush, highlight, setting powder, sponges, more setting powder, setting sprays, and then more little hair clips down there. And then if you come over here, I have my white spot warming up. If I do decide to go with look too, um, I just have like a little bit to wax under my arms so i have this going and i just need to do it anyway so it doesn't really matter i'm gonna go ahead and shower that is the plan i will see y'all when i'm out the shower doing my makeup I don't Okay, y'all, I decided to go with this outfit. How cute did my makeup turn out? And I curled my hair. 
I just throw on this puffer just in case I need it. But I'm gonna be on the way. I over blushed today. I thought it was cute because I got a little red heart. So you know, y'all see it. But y'all gonna be on the way, and y'all will see when I get to you Alright y'all, so we made it to the pool, huh? I'm with Lee. And we got barbecue. So I got mac and cheese and then potato salad and collards. It's 11.23, but right now I'm about to go on call, so I've just been writing like some questions that I have while I'm on call. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, probably just like homework, early homework, and I have to edit this video, and I think I'm gonna post my pictures today that I took yesterday at the uh, full hall. People just didn't get divorced back then once they got married, especially women like her who came from the type of family she came from. I'm also going to just do some spot like concealer treatment on my little pimples that I got. This little breakout. This is how I'm looking. I'm about to go to Starbucks now. I've been wearing this a ton lately. I don't know. What's up, y'all? We finna get into some things. I asked y'all on Instagram if y'all wanted me to give y'all like my experience so far in college, how I've maintained my grades, how I plan to keep maintaining good grades, and overall just like my experience, what I've learned, what I can tell y'all. I don't have any like specific questions. I probably should have done a questionnaire, but I didn't. I don't want this to be too too long because I know talking clips can really be agitating but I want to make it informative and just worth y'all's time. I'm gonna start with how I adjusted to school. So it really wasn't much to adjust to. Most of the time they're mandatory, but I would definitely recommend y'all to go to orientation. That not only gives you info, but also you can tour the school, get an idea of how you like campus, um, if you think it's worth your while. I think it's important to become a little familiar, not accustomed because um, you're not gonna really get accustomed to campus until you're actually on campus. So a tour will at least allow you to be familiar with how it feels to walk campus grounds and how the campus looks and the environment. Orientation just gives you a whole bunch of information about the school. Um, usually you'll have students like upperclassmen come speak to you about their experiences. When I toured Charlotte, I really liked it. I really liked the campus. The people were super friendly and so that's really what sold me also because obviously they have all the tools um resources necessary for my major so also of course look into that my best like adjusting tips that i can give you guys is firstly being organized college is very different from high school in the sense that you have more freedom so your teacher is not going to be tracking you down trying to figure out why you didn't turn in the essay that's on you so time management and um Organization is super important. Get good grades now, this is gonna help later. You have to make good grades on your prereqs so that you can get accepted into the classes that you need to take for your major. Most of your gen ed classes have prereqs that you need for your classes for your actual major. And sometimes you don't know if you need to take that class or not. So I really utilize degree works and it allows me to see like the what if, and it tells me what classes I need and what steps I need to take. So like when I need to change my major from pre-biology to an actual bio major, 
and just things of that nature just reaching out to people like if you know you want to go into school for nursing or if you know you want to go into school for engineering try to find and reach out to somebody who's already doing those things so that they can point you in the right direction so talking and really opening your mouth is what you need to be doing because it's really a game college is all a game and you got to play the game i think that's really it for adjusting as for grades in high school that do make college seem a little bit more intimidating than it actually is and i am a freshman i am taking gen ed so i'm sure like it will progressively get harder but college is really what you make it if you are taking the time in to go to a tutor to use the resources available on campus for help if you're turning in your work on time if you're emailing your professors asking questions things like that if you're being active with your learning and studying and all that then you should be good but you can't expect the outcome if you're not really taking it seriously. This is important. This kind of goes back to adjusting. I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. But what I did literally the day before my first day of classes fall semester, I looked at my schedule and I wrote down like how to get to each class. Honestly, it is important too to walk your classes because you don't want to be lost. It's not like high school. You're not just in one building. There are buildings everywhere, 10 minute, 5 minute, 15 minute walking distances. So if your school does provide transportation, try to look into what routes your campus transportation takes um so that you're making sure you're getting into class on time it's understandable to get lost within your first week but if you can prevent that by walking your classes and making the routes that you need to get the class then do that so it's really about taking the time and energy to do things and kind of not go out of your way but just to make it easy easier for you in the long run if your class says you have math on tuesdays and thursdays at so-and-so hall pull up google maps pull up apple maps and try to see the walking distance from where you're staying from your apartment the driving distance whatever it may be also map out how long in between whatever next class you have so say you have math and you have science on tuesdays and thursdays you need to map out how long it's going to take you to get from math to science so i do that every semester i did it this semester too it makes it much easier and less stressful for you to figure out how to navigate your classes um the first week is not going to be like super heavy work workload from what from my understanding from fall and spring semester first week has just been introduction and like syllabus related stuff a lot of them will tell you to make a google calendar and put the work in there if that's what works for you you can do it that way but i'm just constantly pulling up canvas that's what my school uses you might use blackboard you might use some other kind of um application for your school but we use Canvas, so I'm constantly checking it. I have it on my phone. I have the notifications on my phone, and that works for me. And then Canvas also has a calendar within the app that you can pull up and see um, at a glance, like, when things are due. Also, pay attention to the percentages. Um, it's all going to come together as 100%. So your test might be 50%. Homework might be 20%. Just pay attention to those percentages, because if you do miss an assignment, which I don't recommend, turn your assignments in okay just turn them in um if you do miss an assignment you have to take into consideration how that will affect your grade in the long run then also pay attention to the exam dates make sure you are studying in high school you can get away with a little quick quizlet little five minute study sesh mm -mm. from my history class that i took fall semester i literally studied for like three to five hours for that test and I got a 95 on it and I would do it again. It might not take everybody that long, but for me studying is really just rewriting my notes with the knowledge that I already know and then coming back and highlighting the parts that I didn't know. So hopefully that made sense. Studying is important, asking for help, emailing. Oh, also um, policies. I kind of touched base on that a little bit. Um, just make sure you're staying on top of that because if your teacher says there's a no late work policy, it's a no late work policy. So don't be getting in that email crying and try to convince, okay? Because the answer is no. Try to make a friend in your class. So say, I don't know if you get sick or if you're just not feeling well enough to come to class or whatever the case may be because even though a lot of these rules are strict, life happens and we're still people at the end of the day and like i said high school really paints this picture of all professors to be super rude and just not understanding at all i have yet to experience a professor like that because all my professors have been super easy going and down to earth so i say all that to say to just make a friend in a class so that if you do miss it if you do miss an assignment or if you do miss a day you can ask them hey what did we do in class today da -da -da -da. You know and vice versa so that is everything i hope i touched on some good topics for y'all and gave y'all some good information please let me know i can do another segment like this if y'all are interested i didn't want it to be super long but i did want it to be informative for y'all we can go ahead and dive back into the video and whatever we're going to do i'm about to leave me some food though i know that
that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash visual diary make sure you guys let me know if you guys would like to see more of these in the future and if any of my tips in this video helped you guys out because that was the intent so i hope y'all enjoyed once again and huge shout out once again to green chef for being the sponsor of today's video